great art and all great writing, I think, is born out of experience and lives and, you know, the things that really influence people on a day-to-day -day basis. I try to reimagine the world in the best way possible and try to find avenues to get there. I basically want to experiment with all the different styles and genres that I can and figure out how I can convert experiences, feelings, images into words on a page that once someone reads they'll have a similar feeling or picture almost the exact same image because I think it's really cool how we can express ourselves to other people and have them empathize with it and take on those same emotions. Well, I can't pin down a specific piece but I write a lot of poetry. It's very personal stuff. A lot of people are intimidated by poetry because it's like oh, this is like a symbol for that, and I don't know what the heck you mean when you say this, and it's very vague and like obfuscated and obscure. I don't write poetry like that. I write poetry from my own experiences. I'm like, I'm going through this emotional state right now. Let me try to convey that in words, and so the world can see, basically. When I had to deal with experiences like, you know, being called white for being smart, and therefore having to feel like the internalized shame of knowing that for some people being black is not associated with education or intellect. Those kind of issues for me are something I had to deal with from time to time if they would pop up in my life and therefore they need to get out something. After brainstorming everything out, I like sat down and I was like, okay, I'm going to take the race problem at Emerson, I, the article that I wrote for ISIS magazine, and I'm going to basically just blow it up. And I was like, okay, these are my experiences. These are experiences that other people have had that they're talking to me about. It's about feeling, and it's about feeling degraded or isolated or alone. And a lot of the conversations I was having with people who noticed things around campus really brought these issues to the forefront for me. Going forward, I use writing as a medium to vent or to get catharsis for like everyday kind of stress or struggles that I was going through. I'd like to say I learned something from the experience. I'd like to say I made some connections that are going to last. It's about looking at what's there and saying, this can be perfected. I'm a person right now, but I can be better. You go out into the world and be like, I'm ready. Whatever you throw at me, I can handle because I dealt with all of this, and therefore you can't touch me. Hi, I'm Willie Burnley, a sophomore WOP major here at Emerson College. I look at what's there and I try to reimagine it and say, why is this the way it is?